No, so you were training in the keep. Yeah, I figured as long as Shirley and Ouroboros are prancing around, I better shake the rust off the old combat instincts. Um, you were part of Red Constellation, right? I had the story from someone in Zephyr. Yep, our groups were the two top dogs in the Jaeger world. Sylphid, last I saw her, she was still just a little girl. <laughs> she was part of your old Class 7, right? I was surprised by how smaller and younger than me she was when I first saw her. I didn't realize you two had met before. So eventually you ended up leaving the Jaeger Corps and joining the Crossbell Guardian Force? And after that, you joined the Special Support Section, right? Huh. <laughs> That's right. Who were they? Besides our leader, none of us were actual police or investigators, though. Just a motley bunch of misfits. But we got along well and made a really good team. Living together, we were almost like family. I see. Hey, no need to make that face. Though the SSS is split up now, we're still connected. Uh, in our hearts, I mean. Uh huh. <laughs> I understand how you feel. Did he happen to mention me at all? He didn't say who, but he told me someone got him good. Someone dignified and honorable. Yet sad. I see. Guess he's not a detective for nothing. I'm sorry. Hey, Schwarzer. When I talked with you after school, you seemed shocked for some reason. I got the impression you mistook me for someone else. Something about the way you talk kind of reminds me of him. One of my classmates from class 7. He was a good friend, a fierce rifle, and an awful role model. Though when it comes to being a sarcastic slacker, he certainly had you be. You make it sound like I'm one of those too, but I get it now. Schwarzer, I know this might seem like it's out of the blue, but... Would it be all right if I called you Reen? Hmm? Huh? And you can call me Randy. Everyone back in Crossbell calls me that. Oh. <laughs> I think I might have unintentionally built up a wall between us. A barrier, you might say. But as long as we both work here at this school, we're comrades. I'm sure my friends would let that much slide. Randall. I think I'd built up a barrier too. I'm looking forward to working with you, Randy. Me too, Reen. All right then, you can drink more, yeah? The party's just getting started. Sorry, but I'm still a lightweight when it comes to drinking. I should probably stop there. And Randy insisted. Phew, those are some good drinks. Let's do this again sometime. Maybe after our next payday, eh? Yeah, sure thing. That was pretty tough. Never drank alcohol back when I was a student, but... You know there was interest on this, right? How much do you suppose you really owe me after half a year? Oh, man! What kind of racket are you running here anyway? I thought you were supposed to be a good kid. Well... There's this one second year who's taught me a thing or two about making money. To be honest, it feels kind of lonely to think that everything between us is completely settled and done with. <sighs> I swear, the things I do for love. Alright, alright, you'll get your stupid interest someday. Maybe. I wish I could have drank with him just once. I'm sure if he heard me say that, he'd just call me spoiled. Those days sure were fun. I couldn't drink with Elliot the other day, but once Class 7 is all together again. Oh. Hey there, Reen. Haven't seen you since February. Marcus. Yeah, I know it's a little late, but are you good to talk now? Nope. You look like you've been out drinking. Maybe a bit too much. 
That is fine. Did you always have green hair? Yeah, you caught me. I just got back. Well, there's nothing wrong with it. We are old enough now, after all. Yeah. I've gone drinking with some people from work myself. You didn't invite me. You're so mean to me. In fact, let's go out together next time we meet up. With the others, too, of course. Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. I'm guessing you're pretty busy with your work at the Inspectorate. Oh, it's certainly challenging. I've no doubt your job is the same. Like I thought, this job has shown me the seedy underbelly of the government. Half the time, it's very fulfilling work. The other half? My hands are tied and I'm completely powerless. That sounds pretty serious. <laughs> well, it's the same for you, right? Ellie had told me about your trip to Sutherland the other day. Movement from Ouroboros, government schemes. It seems things are getting pretty fishy over there. Yeah, I guess by this point, I'm just used to all that stuff. We'll be leaving for our field exercises next week, so hopefully I can figure out more then. <laughs> well, about that, I may actually have a business trip that takes me out there with you. Seriously? How do you know? I haven't even heard the location yet. I got the info secondhand, so I can't completely vouch for it. Just look at the name of the chapter, come on. But if it does turn out to be true... Machias, you coming? If you're here, come out with us! Let's go already! Reiner, hold on, just a minute! Machias, come on, we're gonna leave without you! Sorry, I'll call you back later. <laughs> no problem. They'll tell us where our field exercises are being held tomorrow, so we can talk then. Got it. Good night, Reen. I'm starting to sober up a little. Maybe I'll go take a quick shower before bed. Tomorrow's looking like a busy day with the briefing and all. Dum -bun, dum -bun, dum -bun, dum Name of the game, everyone. It's a new day, everyone. A free day. Here are today's requests. I have taken the liberty to summarize everything both the town and school would like you to see, too. Yes. Celestin handed Reen the request list. Thanks, Celestin. And sorry for making you put all that together. Oh, no trouble at all. Besides, it was at the principal's behest anyway. From now on, I shall provide such a list for you every free day. If you require anything of me, please feel free to ask any time. I will, thanks. Alright, let's see what we've got. Okay, I hand keep trial level 2. I have a new trial already in the keep. All members of class 7 will be participating. Report to the control room as soon as you've finished your errands. Pleasant whereabouts. I bought a gift for someone, but I dropped it somewhere and can't for the life of me remember where. Would you help me find it? Come see me for details. I'll be out and about town today, Miss Chummy. Pocket watch your bed. I'd like to repair a watch, but I've run into a bit of a problem. If you can spare the time to help, please come see me at my home. Or may I had a... It's like two requests from town and one from Professor Schmidt. Need everyone from Class 7 to join in for the keep trial. May take a while, so I'd better save that for last. That's why we'll be doing that little talk about Highlander. You know, theory stuff. Alrighty, no hangovers for me. Time to get this day started. He's lucky he's not got that. Oh, we got a message on his office. Who's sending me mail? On free days, Reem will occasionally receive mail from his fellow members of the original Class 7 on his Arcus. Do press LT. We know that. Bit. Right, so before we investigate that, I'm thinking we'll see about 
certain quest, because I am intrigued to do it. I think it's the one at the mayor's house, which makes sense. There's a Mishy there. A Mishy, Mishy with a hat on. Yes. Mishy, shy, shy, shy. There's Altina over there. Oh, hello. I don't think you're... D are you the one we want to... No, we want in here, don't we? There you are. Oh! Instructorine, welcome. Are you here for the request I submitted to the branch campus? Yes, I'm here to fix your watch. That's great news. It's got a lot of history to it, and I do need it fixed as soon as possible. But I don't want it to get in the way of your work, so it's, it's fine if you have the time. I accept the request. All right. I'm not a mechanic, though, so I don't know how much help I can be. Oh, thank you. It's this broken pocket watch. Looking at the numbers on it. It's got IV for four. Interesting, interesting. Oh, this is one of those pocket watches that uses mechanical parts, isn't it? Oh, you could tell. You can see it. Before the Oba Revolution 50 years ago, this was all we had. We found this watch when they were remodeling the branch campus dorms. We think it must have belonged to the original owner of the mansion. <laughs> so, winding it doesn't work? Correct, I thought my only hope was to find a workshop in the capital. But then I heard the branch campus has a number of excellent technicians, such as Professor Schmidt. I was wondering if one of them could help me out. Antique watch. I probably shouldn't bother the professor with it. Tita's hometown used to specialise in watches, and Mintz learned a lot about this kind of thing. Maybe I'll ask one of them. Got it. I know a couple of people I can ask. Oh, thank you. Uh, then please take this. You received an antique pocket watch. It's mine. I'm going to sell it. Get your mint. Maybe I should start looking for them in the hangar. Pocket watch repair. Alright, so let's head on over to the hangar. Speak to mint. A message from mint. From mint. Panzer Solder Enhancement. You know those orbs Clara started making for Valimar during the Civil War? I was taking a tour through some workshops and happened to meet up with her. She taught me how to make EX orbs. If you've got time, could you swing by the hangar's front desk and see me? I've got something else I want to talk to you about too. You know I was heading for you anyway. EX orbs for Valimar is great news, but I wonder what else she has to say. Well, I've got time. I should pay her a visit. Literally who we're going to see, Rune. It's literally why we're here. Oh, Reen, did you see the mail? Yeah, that's why I'm here. No, it's, no, it's not. I didn't realize Clara taught you how to make EX orbs. I thought she became a sculptor and opened her own studio. Wait, did you visit her thinking her studio was a workshop? You're as sharp as ever, Reen. When I first went, she drove me back without even looking at me. After a few visits, she came out with her hammer. She almost used that hammer to bash my skull in, but, uh... Once we got to talking, we found out we both had a misunderstanding. We decided that... She could teach me how to make divine night orbments. You and Clara both, uh... I'm glad we worked it all out before one of us got hurt. Anyhow, I wanted to tell you. Only I made an orb and stole it into Val, just to see what had happened. And some crazy stuff went down. Crazy stuff? Yeah, let me explain the rest in front of Val. Hmm, Reen, have you heard everything from Mint? I haven't heard any details yet. What's this interesting thing that happened? Well, it has something to do with the Divine Knight Link phenomena. The orbs affect the Panzer Soldats that the secondary contractors ride too. Secondary contractors? So the people from the old Class 7 and even Yuna and Kurt? But it's like what our Arcus 2s did. And they connected all of us together. Perhaps... In any event, the discovery should allow us to strengthen our battle prowess. However, those who fight with you will need to learn how to harness this power, Reen. Yeah, you're right. So, Reen, do you want to do some combat training? Kill two birds with one stone while testing the orbs? Just like normal drills where your student challenge you? In case you're wondering, I already got permission from Principal Aurelia. <laughs> well, you came prepared, thank you. Okay, let me go talk to them. EX orbs can now be created and installed. Talk to Mint in the hangar. 
Create EX orbs and install them into Valimar. Install EX orbs to raise the stats of your party members to gain an advantage in Divine Knight battles. Reen can now take part in Panzer Sword at training. On free days, Reen can participate in mock Panzer Sword at battles with his students. It's not necessary to progress the story, but successful training will greatly increase the branch's campus enhancement rating. Once the EX orbs are ready, talk to Mint and select Panzer Sword at training. This training can be done as many times as necessary until it is cleared. <laughs> hey Reen, do you still need something? Yeah, someone in town asked me to do them a favor. Reen explained about the broken antique watch. Hmm, you need some maintenance done on a mechanical watch. Mr. Dwight from Palm taught me how to do that. Wow, really? <clears throat> Leave it to me. No promises there. Ah, I see. So based on what I see, I think three things are needed to fix this. Three? What are they? One is a 68 tooth. 0.5 reggae gear. And the second is a 0.25 reggae screw used to stabilize the ankle. And the last is grease, specifically made for intricate mechanics like this. It's not the same as Auburn grease. Special gear, a screw, a specific grease. Sounds like this is going to be hard. Have any of those parts in the hangar? Alright, but this is a little different. We have plenty of parts for Arcus 2s and Panzer Soldats. Oh, you might be able to find them at the branch campus or even in these. Really? I have a feeling Tita might have the right gear. She has an early version of the Bell's Battle Orbment, which I think uses the same kind of parts. I think Pablo might have the screw. It's similar to the one used for model trains, which he likes. And lastly, the grease. You might be able to find it in an Eastern style general store. I think use the same grease for fishing gear. Okay, so Tita, Pablo, and New Sui An in front of the train station. And I'll find them all somehow. When I do, can I ask you for your help again? Yep, yep, yep. I want to see about this Panzer Soldat training. Um, let's make some orbs, eh? I mentioned to get started. I bet you are. Um, power and speed. So I need. Huh? Tunnel. Alrighty, let's begin. All right, Candy, come now. Okay, so action is one on there. Huh? And... Tunnel. She's not screaming at me like a certain someone. Alright. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Panzer Solar Train. Insert. I need to get that sorted first. I'll do for now. Panzer Solar Train. Okay, Panzer Solar Training coming up. Should I call the Class 7 kids? Sure. Alright, let's get them all ready. Okay, you two ready? Of course we are. I can start any time. I am so looking forward to this. Before we get the chance to challenge Instructor Reen head on. What, again? Valimar as well. This will prove to be quite the battle. Well, I'll give what support I can too. Alrighty. To win, all you gotta do is val Valage Dalimar. Let me keep that one in. Valage Dalimar a little. Dalimar, the slightly valley knight, I don't know. Ready, go. Dalimar. Dalimar. Now, bring it on! Now. 30%. All right. All right, so let's... Hmm. Hmm. I don't need to impede or anything. I'm going to defend here. Uh... Very well. My turn. Is it? Oh, Alright. Hmm. Let hey. me get the speed down. That could be good, actually. Fine. It's my turn. Let's see about trying to find a weak spot, though. Honestly, I say the head with that stance. No. Ooh. Well, we, we, I would want impede, but can't get it. That stance would actually say the arm. Yep. It's down. It's mine. There. My turn. Uh, 
try to get the speed down if I can. It's my turn! Take it! My turn! Okay, so we know the head was a no-go. Let's go with the arm again. There! I like to think he's like, because his arm's sort of like, kind of exposed at the front. Maybe that's something go. going on there. Hmm, so I can only have it yeah. here, but we'll get it going. Yeah. Uh, my turn! Uh, there. It's down! It's mine! <laughs> it's my turn! Uh, it. Wide open! It's mine! You can tell Valley Ma and Rain are holding back, clearly. My turn. Hmm. You can't escape. Fire! We can get that speed down quite a bit more. Could actually be good for us. Let's go. It's down. So we're gonna go finish him. Ragnar impulse. And that's why. Now. Now. Um, I can't do spirit. Find repair stone. You need yeah. it more, really. Thank you. You're most welcome. Let's go. It's down. Ragnar impulse. My turn. Oh, I thought that would have been it. All right. Um, charge. I'll support you. Good job. That was it. Uh, what? All right. Hmm. Can't interrupt that. Wide open. It's mine. There we go. That was good. <laughs> well, look at that. Lovely. We did it? Yeah, it seems we were able to damage him slightly. Good job, you two. Yeah, you guys were awesome. Hmm, yeah, you guys pass. Did we actually do anything to him? Seems we still have much to learn. There we go. That's what we're after. Okay, so we want to now head where? Because it's some, somewhere, like, all the different places we can pick up these stuff. Oh yeah, there's one in here, isn't there? The grease. There we go. Oh, instructor, do you need something? Yes, actually, I'm looking for something. Reen asked about the special grease used in pocket watch repairs. Oh, mechanical watch in this day and age. We don't have any that's specifically for watches, but I do have some that's for fishing gear. It's made in the Republic. Uh, would you like to take some? Are you sure? That'd be a big help. We can receive special grease. Thank you. I'll pay you back. Ah, uh, <laughs> don't worry about it. If you can just continue to fish and promote it to others, we can call it even. Sure thing. Okay, where was next? Oh, it was... Um... Just looking at my list, it's like we need to find Tita. Should be around somewhere over here. There she is, you can see her off in the distance. Chickens! Roosters. Oh, Instructor Reen, can I help you? Yeah, I need to ask you for something. Reen asked Tita about special gears used in pocket watch repairs. Oh yes, I... Do actually, I use them to repair any models of Altman's. Just a moment. 
Tita pulled out a case filled with parts from her belt. Here you are. It's very small, but be sure not to lose it. Tainted special gear. Oh, wow, this is a big help, thanks. Are you sure I can have it? <laughs> it's fine. I've got dozens of spare, so please don't worry. Okay, so, school building now. About bouncing around this, it's like... It's because it's like not going on the school building on the map, and I'm like, wait, where am I meant to be going? Oh, what? Because we need to find Pablo. Who's clearly going to be in here, then. There he is. Hmm, Mr. Green, you need something from me? Yeah, I just wanted to ask you about something real quick. Reen asked Pablo about precision screws using pocket watch repairs. Oh, I do, I. Those are the same kind of screws I use for my train models. Should have an extra or two somewhere around here. Pablo pulled out a case of model train parts from his school supply toolbox. 0.25 reggae. Should be what you're looking for. Got plenty, so help yourself. Obtained a precision screw. Don't mind if I do. As thanks, I'll pretend I didn't see you using the school toolbox for your personal stuff. Oof, walked into that one. Actually did. Alright, I've got the three items needed. Time to share them with Mint at the hangar. Okay, so back to the hangar then. Oh, Reen, did you gather everything? It's just like you said. Can you repair it for me? Of course, Mint is on the job. Hmm, that's weird. It's working now, but I have one part left over. Oh, well, it's working properly. Are you sure that's okay? There shouldn't be any extra parts. Maybe it's a spare part that was taped to the inside? Hmm, you fool. Professor Schmidt? Oopsie, did I mess up somewhere? That is the part that prevents the reverse rotation of the main spring. It should have been in the barrel, so check again. Oh, I see. Thanks for the help, Professor. If you didn't make such careless errors, you could be as good as Makarov. Hmm, you really saved me there. If you're done with your little errands, hurry up and come to the keep. Ah, he's just being shy. Whenever I talk to him, I get this feeling like he wants Uncle Makarov and George to come back. Really now, I wonder. He's also familiar with antique mechanical watches. It's amazing. I wonder if he has his own. Probably does. And so, Mint finished fixing the pocket watch. Reen thanked her and headed back to the mayor's house in Leaves. Oh, that was fast. Thank you, Instructor. I I'm sure she'll be delighted. She? Oh, actually, after this, uh... Excuse me. Yes, yeah, she is. Oh, well, speak of the devil. Ah, she must have arrived. Uh, do come in, please. Uh, excuse the interruption. Is she dressed in a flight jacket? I like the little bobcat on the side there. Greetings, my lady. Welcome. It's good to see you again. I can't believe it's been an entire year. <laughs> no need for, for my ladies. That's not really me anymore. Alright, this is from my brothers. Oh, you shouldn't have. Mr. Don and Mr. Kyle. Oh, I haven't seen them in ages. Yeah, likewise. Oh, whoops. Did I interrupt something? Oh, what the phone? Aren't you the Ashen Chevalier? Uh, d yeah? And you are? Josette Kapua. The name's Josette. I'm the acting branch manager at a shipping company called Kapua Delivery Service. I do remember when we got to Sky and I was just completely oblivious to the fact that this was her. Just completely oblivious. I hear you personally helped out one of our newbies. Thank you so much. That was fun back then. That just that realization like, oh. Oh, so that's where this old thing was. And it brings back memories. It's a mechanical pocket watch our father used to use. It was passed down to my brother, Don. He was super bummed out when he found out he'd misplaced it. I'm just glad we could return it to you. We've been through so much over the years. 
Actually, I think I do remember the name Kapua. It was a baron who lost his family land after a merchant swindled him out of it. The baron had only intended to sell off the mansion, but papers the merchant had him sign said otherwise. I guess nobles would be familiar with the story. But since we lost this place, now there's a train station, shops, houses, and the branch campus of a famous school. Maybe it didn't turn out so bad after all. That's my lady. Thank you both. I'll make sure Don gets this safely. And I guess you helped out with the repairs, Mr. Ashen Savalier. I mentioned this earlier, but we run an airship-based delivery service. That's my way of paying you back. If there's ever anything we can help you with, just let us know. I see, thanks. I'll be sure to keep that in mind. Thank you so much for your help, Instructor. I mean, I've got to speak to Josette here. I mean, come on. Oh, yeah. Tita's staying in leaves now, too, right? Yeah, that's right. Do you know already? <laughs> in a way. We keep bumping into each other from time to time. Actually, just this past April, I brought her and Akit over to Crossbell. Now she's a student. I should go see her before I head out. I see. I got two, huh? <laughs> Feels like Josette has more connections than I can even comprehend. Oh yes, yes she does. It's 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 just fascinating that aspect of like because obviously we've gone through the story now. Like I know all the details up to this point. It's very much well, and a little bit further obviously because yeah, you know, done Cold Steel three before, but still you know my point. It's very much that interesting aspect of like after having their story for so long and hearing all the different aspects across all the games, like even in the previous game, like we like well previous game. In the previous games, the Crossbell games. Just that aspect of we hear their story so much and then boom we're here and it's leaves. Leaves is what they were talking about. It's like, that's fascinating. I like that they chose this as the location. Just adds more history to the place, you know? Just more world building without realizing it until really that point. That's the point where you'd realize that, oh, that's here. But anyway, we're going to end this part here. Cut off for now.